Welcome back painting friends. Today we're gonna paint a cute little penguin with a cup of hot cocoa. The colors you're gonna need are pink, white, black, red, yellow, and then I've got some green and white mix because I want it to be a lighter green. Um, I always use my favorite four brushes. I've got my one inch flat brush, my 10, six, and one round brush. Don't forget to have a cup of water and a rag for keeping those brushes clean. So let's get started. Um, I'm gonna make my background a light pink, so I'm just gonna start by making some stripes of white on my canvas. And then from there, I'm gonna take that pink color and I'm just gonna run it along those edges, top to bottom. I want some areas to be lighter, some to be darker, which is why I added the white. So cover your whole canvas in with top to bottom brush strokes. You can take your paintbrush, wipe it off, wash it off. You're gonna let this dry. When we come back, we're gonna add in our penguin. So I've got my background dry and I'm ready to add my penguin in. Now, I like to draw everything with my number 10 round brush, but you can always use a smaller one if you want. I'm gonna start with some white paint and I'm going to make a large U shape. It's an upside down U shape on the bottom of my canvas. That's gonna be my penguin's body. I'm then gonna add a, another one, upside down one, right here on top. That's gonna be his little head. Make a line across there, cause we're gonna put a, a little hat on him. And then I'm gonna make a Santa hat, which is going to start right here, and there's gonna be just a hook down. And it's gonna go back up and around to this side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the white parts of our penguin in first. So right here at the top, I'm gonna make a letter M and everything below that letter M, I'm gonna paint white on his head. Same brush. I'm now gonna make a smaller upside down U shape and paint that whole space in white. I'm gonna make a white fluffy ball right here. So I'm just gonna take my brush and kind of flop it around every which way. I don't want it to be a circle, I want it to be a cotton ball. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing right up here at the top of his hat. Wash my brush off, wipe my brush off. I'm gonna now paint this area and this area black. And up here, I'm gonna paint red. So these two areas right here I'm gonna paint black. And then I'm gonna paint his hat red.
we are gonna add just one more thing before we let this dry, and that's gonna be my eyes. So I like to paint eyes with my finger, so I'm gonna take my finger with some black paint on it, and I'm going to make really nice, big black circles. All right, we're gonna let this dry. When we come back, we will add in the rest of our details. So I have a totally dry background. Let's add some more details to our cute little penguin. First things first, I'm gonna take some yellow paint and I'm going to make his little penguin beak, which is going to be a curved line at the top, coming down into a triangle below that. Small little beak. Wipe that brush off. Now my penguin arms are going to actually come out from the shoulders and kind of come down here holding the cup. So we're gonna make our cup first so that it's easy to make sure our penguin can hold on to it. I am going to take that green and white mix that I had and mix those two up. Cause I'm looking for a light green cup for him. I just really like light green and pink together. Now you can make your cup any way you want, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with an oval at the top, almost like a football shape. And then from there, I'm gonna bring it down towards the base, curving it in with a flat bottom. Go ahead and paint the front of this in. I'm also gonna give him a big handle. So I'm gonna start here and it's almost like a half of a heart shape. So it goes up, around, and back down. I made it really big because his little penguin arm is gonna go through it. Wash that brush off. So now for my penguin arms. I'm gonna make them black, which is gonna be hard to see on this black, but I am gonna add a highlight to it in a minute. So don't worry. So with some black paint, I'm gonna start right here and I am going to bring down just a curved line right onto the top of that cup. On this side, I'm gonna go out a little bit with a curved line so that it looks like his shoulders kind of off of his body a little bit more. And that curved line is then going to go right down and attach to this point and paint that whole arm in. Now my next one's gonna be the same, except to, in fact, I might make this a little bit bigger. Hang on, let's just make this arm be a little bit wider. I want it to be on the cup just a little more if I'm gonna make my two arms symmetrical. Perfect. So then my next one's gonna kind of mimic this. So I'm gonna come up this way, except when I get to my cup handle, I'm gonna jump behind it. So I don't want my cup handle to be a part of the black. I'm gonna paint just inside of it and then just outside of it. Let's work on these eyes a little bit. I'm gonna use um, the back of a pencil to make two nice big dots. I like to use the eraser of my pencil to make two nice big dots on his eye. And then I'll use the back of my paintbrush to add another dot down towards the bottom a little bit. Cute little guy. I'm gonna go in with my number 10 round brush and I'm just gonna kind of fluff up the top of this hat again, as well as the pom-pom underneath. I like my paint to have some texture to it. And then I can really go over some of that red that I had to kind of cover it up and as well as the black on his head.
I'm gonna go in with my number six round brush. I'm gonna use a little bit of watered down white paint, just a little bit of water, um, just make it just a little smoother. And I'm gonna add a couple of highlight lines. So one's gonna go right up here at the top of his hat. I'm gonna put one down here on the side of his hat. A couple little lines right here to show where the hat creases. I'm gonna add a small line at the top of his mouth, or his beak. I'm gonna add a line around the top of his shoulder. Maybe right down here on the tip of his arms. And I'm gonna add a small black line right here. So super skinny line right there on his beak. So then you can see the top and the bottom of the beak. Now on his coffee cup, or I guess it's a hot cocoa cup, down here, you can do any kind of design you want, but I'm actually going to do a snowflake. So I like to take my number six round brush and pinch the bristles together at the top to make them like really skinny. Do you see how skinny those are? Normally they look like this, they're round, okay? But if you pinch them together, then they get to be super skinny. And if you take those super skinny lines and you're very gentle with your paint, don't let your paintbrush touch the canvas too much, you can make these really great skinny lines. So I'm gonna do a plus sign and a cross for a snowflake. I'm then gonna use the back of my brush to add a polka dot on the ends of each of them. I'm gonna take my black paint. Actually, you know what, I think I might get some brown because I want my hot cocoa to be brown. At first I thought I could just use black, but I really want my hot cocoa to be brown. So I'm gonna grab some brown paint. If you do not have brown paint on your palette, grab some real quick. I'm gonna fill in his hot cocoa cup with some brown paint. I'm gonna add a small highlight on the back of the cup and on the front on the opposite edge. If you see any spaces that need a second coat of paint, maybe his face or his cup, this is a good time to add a second coat of paint to, to your picture. I think I'm gonna go ahead and add a little scarf on this guy because I think it'd be really cute to add a scarf. So I'm gonna go right up here around his neck and I'm gonna start with white paint. I'm just gonna make a small rectangle right here on his neck. And I'm starting with white paint because I don't want the black to show through too much. And then I'm gonna take some red on my dirty brush, okay? So I did not wipe my brush off. And then I'm gonna have part of this go up this way Oh, it looks like I'm gonna have to wait until my black is dry. I was hoping it was dry enough. Okay, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna let my black dry. Then I'll come back and show you the rest of my scarf. Okay, crisis averted. I let it dry. Sometimes I like to speed things and I need to not. So now I've got red paint going on so nicely. Um, go ahead and add a second layer on here. I pretty much just didn't want my scarf to show through with the black. So then I'm gonna take this scarf and I'm just gonna kinda gently wrap it around his little neck right there on that side. Then I am gonna go ahead and grab some white paint so that my scarf coming down this way will not show that black through. Even add some up here, some, some of that black kinda came through to begin with. And go ahead and put the red on top. Now if you want to have any kind of 
decoration on your scarf. Um, I would just let it dry and then you can add a decoration to it. Otherwise, I am just going to add a little bit of white and black for highlights. And I think then my scarf will be finished. All right, I like all my lines now. So I'm gonna switch out my big brush for my number six round brush. And I'm gonna take a little bit of white paint and I'm just gonna make a couple of little lines on the top of my scarf to show where there's a little bit of a highlight. I'm then going to add a little bit of a green, mm -mm, that's black, not green, a little bit of a black letter C shape here and right here to kind of show where the knot on the scarf is. And then I can even add a little bit of a white in this to give it a highlight. All right, last thing is my marshmallows. So I like to do marshmallows with my finger and I'm just gonna put my marshmallows on my cup maybe just three of them right on the cup top, just like that. I do think that this, oh, I lied, it's not done yet. I wanna add a curved line here of a highlight. And now I think my cute little penguin is finished. So I'm gonna grab a color that's gonna show up on my canvas and sign my name. Remember, I never get to see what you're painting at home unless you post it to my Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. Make sure that you like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Painting with a Purpose, so you're kept up to date on all of the tutorials. And remember, as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.